Hey everybody, happy Good Friday. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, you know, Easter Friday. Um, so uh, since it's almost time for eating Easter eggs, I thought that I would tell you guys about what Easter's like in Sweden. So in Sweden, Easter's quite different because First of all, you don't get chocolate Easter eggs. Um, I think some are available for purchase, but that's not like the thing that you do. So what people do is they they get like these cardboard Easter egg shaped containers and they usually have like some paintings of like little rabbits and little chickadees and everything. And then you fill those up with different lollies. Um, you know, just anything could be like chocolate lollies, um, mostly just sugary lollies, and then the parents will hide those around the house or grandparents or whoever's going to be having the kids on the Easter day. And I think that they do that on the Sunday. Yeah. So, like, when we would eat our chocolate Easter eggs, the little kids are going around finding their cardboard containers filled with lollies. <laughs> so that's quite different. And then the second thing is that I think the day before actual Easter, um, the kids, they dress up as witches, like, sort of, I guess friendly witches in a way and they go around and knock on their neighbors doors and ask for um, treats but usually what they do is they like um, draw on bits of paper so a drawing that'll say happy Easter or glad posk as um, in Swedish Easter is posk and um, then they will take those around and offer that card or that drawing to their neighbour and then in, in exchange their neighbour will give the kids um, some more lollies so usually what the kids wear it's like really sort of um, kind of raggedy dress and then like a little headscarf and then they'll like do lots of red cheeks and that sort of thing and that's supposedly the Easter witch I can't remember if Swedes do hot cross buns. I can't really remember seeing those there, but they could do, you know, but Swedes have all, you know, lots of other, lots of other bakery items like, um, canal, bula, and, um, I don't know, what's that other one called? I can't remember, but it's like a saffron type bun. Yeah, so they have that sort of stuff. But the Easter drink of choice is Poskmust, which is sort of, it's kind of like cola. It has almost like a beer type taste, but it's non-alcoholic, so that's for the kids. And so it's, it's a bit more of like a yeasty cola. And um, it's the same drink as they have for Christmas, but at Christmas time it's called Yulmust. So... <laughs> People do claim that it might be different, but lots of people think that it's the same thing, so nobody knows, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so Yulmust and Poskmust, they um, outsell cola um, by quite a bit in the Swedish market. Yeah, so that's sort of the main thing that Swedes do. So it is quite different, you know, um, basically trick-or-treating during Easter time um, and then the cardboard containers with lollies in it is a bit different yeah but you know it's really fun um, it was it was quite different for me doing Easter in Sweden because like the snow was melting and everything so you know in New Zealand right now we're sort of going through I think it was a cyclone or a hurricane I can't remember I don't know what the difference is but yeah so it's been super wet and um, that's kind of Easter but in Sweden everything's melting and like little things are coming up from the ground so 
I I kind of thought that Easter in other countries would be like really nice and warm. Like I never really thought about how it's still going to be heaps of snow on the ground and that it's melting. So it was really different for me and exciting and everything. But it wasn't like sunshine and rabbits hopping everywhere <laughs> like I kind of thought maybe it would be it was sort of a bit more um, cold and still a bit dark but yeah so that's what Easter is like in Sweden so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, maybe you can write down below what Easter's like in your country and then that'll be pretty cool because it can be really different <laughs> yeah so I will see you all next time and make sure that you have a safe and happy holiday and that's it from me. So hey door!